Hi, this is Monty from Moat Park Vehicles and welcome to another one of our detailed vehicle appraisals on a car that's just recently come into us. This is our lovely 2016 Ford KA 1.2 petrol titanium. Uh, covered for just over 43,000 miles, two owners from new, great service history, five service stamps in the book, three of them um, at Ford, done by the previous owner to be fair, who bought it in 2018, um, and more importantly, I say more importantly, it's also had the cam belt uh, replaced. Very important if you're looking at KAs, uh, these must be done at five years, okay? So if you are looking at other cars that are advertised about, ask the garage if the, uh, the cam belt's been done or they're willing to do it. This was all done uh, by a Ford main agent. So um, let's just walk around the car now, just give you a brief view around the car and give you a more detailed view very shortly. Now the videos tend to take about eight minutes long. I'll try and be as brief as possible, but if you are looking, at, you're interested in a car like this, uh, you'll appreciate the time it takes me to do the video, um, but it shouldn't take too long. It is a lovely, lovely car in flame red. Real high specification vehicle. You won't get too many titanium KAs that have got full leather interior, heated seats, uh, panoramic glass roof, rear parking sensors. That was all um, additional extras on the car. Now, I'm just going to hold the camera there for a few seconds. Please feel free to do any checks you want to do. HPI checks, history checks, that kind of thing. Uh, feel free to do them. MOT history checks. The other thing with this car is the MOT history. Never, ever failed an MOT. Never, ever had an advisory either. Now, you may see some shadows on the car. Uh, this is, you'll probably see me uh, coming through as well. Uh, we've got the sun shining uh, through to that. Well, obviously it's gonna be shining, but I've tried to position the car so we're not uh, right in the bright sunshine and a bit of shade, but unfortunately you will get uh, some of it sort of uh, um, coming through the trees, really. It's just one of those things that's to be expected. But yeah, a real nice high specification car, and I will show you inside very shortly. You've got climate control, you've got Bluetooth uh, connectivity, uh, for your phone, everything you're ever going to need, uh, all in one small package. Okay, now before we do the inside, I'm just going to go and show you down the sides of the car. We had a couple of little trolley dents, we've had them all addressed. We've had a few little touch ups, mainly around the sort of bonnet area and around uh, the bumper. We've had them all done as well. Okay, alloy wheels are in good condition. Uh, I think we had a couple refurbished, uh, and I think one of them just needed a couple of touch-up, which I've done. Again, just doing it down the side of the car. Now, I tend to use a HD camera. Uh, sometimes when these all get loaded up on YouTube, it doesn't always get converted to HD, unfortunately. But I'll try and show you as much detail it's possible and really sort of bright paintwork it really really is and that's that pan roof I'll show you inside as well so door panels you've got this kind of two-tone which really sort of um, doubles up and mirrors what you've got inside the car so you've got a sort of uh, light mid grey like a nimbus grey and then black leather on here and it sort of mirrors the seats as well I don't know how well this is going to come out um, it so the, these sections here are in this really nice kind of marbled grey and then these are a darker, I wouldn't say totally black, but it's closer to black than it is to grey. But you've got that really nice central marbling, which really does set the seats off. I think so anyway. Panoramic glass roof. You can't open that or anything like that. There's nothing for you to close. It is... Uh, it is sort of exposed, exposed like that all the times. Five speed manual transmission, electric windows, climate control air conditioning. There's your radio at the top there. And you've got most of the functionality off of the steering wheel to control what you need for your phone, your radio, etc. Let's just show you the back seats. I really don't even think the back seats have been used at all. A lot of the times these tend to be used, uh, you know, your mum, that type of thing, and you tend to get some really bad creasing on the backs of the seats, uh, from baby seats and things like that, but nothing like that at all. 
just show you one last look inside. Hopefully that all looks good. Really nice titanium uh, sort of badging. So nice chrome touches here, uh, which I think you only get on the titanium. So 50-50 uh, split seats. And I'm sure this little kitty has got that all important spare wheel and the tool kit. Most of these don't come with a spare wheel. They tend to come with a, like a little pump up kit. Rear parking sensors, they all work absolutely fine. You can see the little sensors there. They're audible, they're not visual, you can't see anything, you just hear it coming through the speakers. Plenty of tread on the tires, front and rear. There will be some pictures of all the tire treads. Let's just show you down the side. Hopefully you can pick that all up. Really nice and bright paintwork. Now apologies again, you're gonna get some sort of bleeding coming through uh, because of the sun shining through. But if I stand back a little bit, it should look okay. Show you in here as well. Uh, these, these are really nice. I quite like these on the door panels. It's a pearlescent white, which mirrors everything else that you've got in the centre console, and it goes round the dash binnacles. And I forgot to mention down the bottom there is your heated front seat. You've got a USB connector at the bottom there as well. Show you again the rest of the seats. Full set of KA mats. I think the original ones that came from Ford. Plenty of tread on the tyres again. Let's just show you down the side of the car. Hopefully, you'll get some sort of reflections of the grass along the front of the car. All it's good. As I mentioned, there were a few stone chips that I've touched up along the bonnet, a few bits on the bumper but it's to be expected how many cars have we gone to have a look at they look absolutely stunning in the photos you go and stand in front of the car and go hang on a second is this the car i was really looking at anyway um i'm going to probably wrap up very shortly i just wanted to let you know that i try and be as honest as i possibly can in my videos uh, if i have missed anything it's not done intentional absolutely not done intentional whatsoever just something that i might have missed uh, a lot of garages have started doing these videos now none of them sort of babble on and as long as i do uh, so apologies for that um, now the last thing just to finish up with is that this car will come with a six month warranty uh, you can upgrade that warranty for another six months just go back a bit, just someone running past. You can upgrade that warranty for another six months. It works out another £149. Uh, claim limits are up to £2,000 over that full duration of time. We do not charge you any administration fees. We do not charge you any documentation fees. The price that you see is the price that you pay. That includes a warranty. Now, we'll also put a new MOT on this particular vehicle if it needs an MOT within the next eight months so i think the mot runs out uh i think it's around march time on this particular vehicle so depending on when we sell it we may be putting a new mot on the car and last thing just have a read of some of my reviews on auto trader they are genuine reviews uh, i do try my hardest to try and do the best i possibly can for my customers um, and i think if you do read some of my reviews it uh, will reflect that as well all right so thank you very much for persevering if you are interested in this car or anything else at motor park vehicles please don't hesitate to send me a text send me an email or you can do the old-fashioned way picking up the phone give me a call many thanks bye bye